Now, lastly, learning dialogues. We have seen how to collect data from classroom environment, online environment, and tele environment. We discussed how to collect this data also. Like in a classroom environment, you can use the students' behavior by human observers or the students' interaction with the systems like a module or a test performance, all this information. In a second, in online environment, you can track all the users' behavior, all the clickstream data in the online data has to be collected and we can write a script to convert that raw data into a events or actions. In a tell environment, it is the environment you developed. So, you have access to what kind of information you want to collect, what kind of information you are interested in. Based on that, you can write your own script. However, we have seen this three types of data collection. All the data are collected from learners behavior in the environment such as what the students interacting with the system. We have no idea what is student doing, we are not observing a students behavior. Instead, we are trying to understand students behavior in the system. Except in the classroom system, I mentioned that you can have the human observers to measure students motivation and affective states. All other information is based on students behavior in the environment. In today's class, we are talking about what is data collection, what kind of data you can collect in different environments and what data we need. Okay, let us begin with the activity. If you are a learning analytics researcher and you are using metal to run a study, apart from the log data that is we discussed the log data of metal in the last class, what other sources of data are important on how it can be collected? Based on your ideas, what other sources can be collected when the student is interacting with metal? You can pause this video, write down your answers. After completing the task, please resume the video to continue. Data collection using sensors. If you are learning analytic researcher using tell environment, we asked what kind of data you would like to collect apart from the log data. You can collect data such as IAS information, facial expressions, brain waves, skin conductance, gesture or posture. How it can be collected? For IAS data, we can collect using eye trackers. There are portable eye trackers available. It can be attached to laptop to get accurate students eye gaze. Or simply you can use web camera of the laptop to collect the eye gaze information. For facial expressions, you can record students facial expressions using a web camera in your laptop or a external webcam. For brain wave and skin conductance, you can use modular portable devices to collect these signals. However, this may not be cost effective and not scalable to a large class. For gesture and posture, you can have an external video camera recording the student's gesture and posture and code it, you ma manually code it after the study or you can have a pressure sensitive chairs, pressure sensitive mouse, keyboards to collect gesture and posture. Here is the sample I guess and GSR data that is collected on a tell environment. Student is looking at the I guess and it is student is looking at a different parts of the environment. And you can see the eye gaze is overlaid on the video. Below the student's GSR data. You can collect data from multiple channels. However, processing data from multiple channels is challenging because we need to align the data from each channel based on timestamp. And data from each channel will have a different granular size. For example, we can have I guess for a 60 hertz to 1500 hertz. There are eye trackers uh, which can record students I guess up to 1500 hertz. What it means? If the I guess is 
collected at 68 speed which means eye trackers is collecting 60 signals per second which is roughly 15 millisecond per eye case data you will have a 60 data per second. Similarly, for facial expressions it is based on the number of frames in the videos you use. If I want to use 25 frames in the video I will have 25 pictures then each picture can be converted in to analyze the facial expressions. So, you will have uh, facial expressions varies at every 40 millisecond. So, the facial expression varies at every 40 millisecond the eye gaze data varies at every 15 milliseconds. Now, aligning these two different granular size data is challenging. Analyzing and this multi level data for learning analytics is beyond the scope of this course.